Hello everyone, it is time to pick some polishes. So, the first one is going to be right here. Ooh, and this is OPI Don't Cry Over Spilled Milkshake. So that is the first one. Okay, let's see what we're gonna pair with that. Ooh. Okay, and that is going to be, ooh, and this is OPI Grease is the word. Both of these are from the Grease Collection. How exciting. Okay, so OPI Grease is the word, and OPI Don't Cry Over Spilled Milkshake. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. Those are pretty. Okay, so those are the two polishes I picked. I will meet you back here with the Complete Manny. We'll see what I can come up with. This is pretty cool having two OPI polishes. First is Grease is the Word, and that is one of their uh, leather effects polishes. Very pretty, and to me, yes, once it dries, it does look like leather. I think this one is probably the best from their leather effects line. I think this one is perfectly black leather. And then we have the Don't Cry Over Spilled Milkshake. This is a very interesting polish. Um, it has just a little bit of a yellowy green tone to it, it does look like milk. It's very weird. For this Manny, I'm gonna start with the lightest of these two OPI polishes, that being Don't Cry Over Spilled Milkshake. This polish does apply really nice. It is a tiny bit streaky, but overall, this is a very nice applying formula. Now going in for that second coat of Don't Cry Over Spilled Milkshake, this polish is completely opaque. I think this polish for me in this second coat is actually very well. I am pleasantly surprised and pleased with the way this polish did cover and even out in that second coat. And after that has completely dried, I am using a piece of striping tape here at the tip of my nail and applying it in a slant for a slanted French tip. Once I have made sure that is firmly pressed down, then I am going in with grease as the word and creating the French tip. I also want to make sure that I am capping the free edge here in grease is the word. And then going in with an orange wood stick here, I am just cleaning up any of that excess that happened to get on my skin. And then I am going in with tweezers and just quickly removing that striping tape. And I'm just going to do that same procedure on the rest of my nail.
Now going in with a dotting tool here, and grease is the word, I'm creating a kind of scallop edge here. I'm not really sure what they call this design, but I saw it quite a while ago and I figured this would be a perfect time to give it a try. And then again, just repeating that same method for the rest of the nail. I also decided that I wanted to take my smaller dotting tool and create some more uh, dots here, kind of to have like that um, gradient effect of the dots, and then to create the kind of interlocking uh, kind of feel, optical illusion that this is. I'm going in with Don't Cry Over Spilled Milkshake, over grease is the word, on the tip part of my nail, and again just going in and placing those dots there and then going in with a smaller dotting tool and creating that kind of gradient effect. I was really pleased with how this was looking so I decided to just continue the same design throughout the entire Manny. And now going in with Vibrant Vinyl's Fast and Hard Top Coat here. This is going to smooth this all out and make it look seamless. This is a really neat technique here. I think it looks really cool. And I haven't tried it with other colors and I don't even really think that I've seen other colors used in this kind of optical illusion kind of design. But with the black and the white, I think it looks really cool. So there is my final design. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave any comments or suggestions below and I will see you in the next one.